territory for us, and it, it took such a long time for us to get here. And so the satisfaction on launch day, you see everything uh, ready to go as we're sending some of your uh, brand's uh, rally cars up the, up the hill. I didn't think we were going to see this uh, after all, but we are, and they sound absolutely terrific. Uh, the pride of the team on launch day must be enormous, given, given what you've achieved with the car. Oh, yes, absolutely. And uh, uh, so we're introducing this new car with the, with the idea that sound and gear shifting has to come back to high performance driving. So, Alex, we all know EV car, but it's a bit like asking you to dance to very fast paced music. He's very, he's very good at that. Yeah. With the volume set to zero. It's all wrong. It wouldn't work, yeah. Uh, so you, you, can't, you can't hear it, but you have to dance fast, but you don't have the cues, right? So in a high-performance drive, you look at these corners in the Goodwood Hill climb, you're already thinking gear speed and RPM. And that's what we're trying to bring back. And we are now seeing a car on circuit, the Ionic 5N, the N for the high-performance team. You heard the N relating to the Nürburgring as well and the two laps done there and we are about to see the launch of it and after its launch a couple of hours ago it is now time to light it up and it's an interesting is it is so interesting that you say about that is trying to bring the feel of a high performance car that we know that we instinctively know with all the technology of an EV yeah, yes again so we spent such a long time getting ourselves familiar, familiarized and trained to drive these kind of fast cars. So we want to keep that skill to uh, a very fast DV. So as I said before, if you enter a corner, you're already thinking speed, gear, and RPM. And you strategize how you're going to navigate the corners. The same idea we want to bring to EVs, but obviously with the benefits of the fast response of the electric motors. And, you, and gen, genuinely, we want the customers to have fun. And what you see on screen here is the Ionic 5N Drift Spec. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. So it's a very mildly tuned Ionic 5N. So very mild suspension mods, and the interior is a bit uh, disassembled for, for safety reason, reasons. But uh, we developed this car to demonstrate the kind of fun you might have by modifying or tracking the car. And really, m is all about elevating the BPM, beats per minute of your heartbeat. And we, and we want to use these vehicles to try to, you know, raise your, your heartbeat as much as we can. Well, that is absolutely the epicenter, isn't it, of any high-performance car. And uh, just to let you know with what you're seeing on screen at the moment, the legendary Terry Grant, who has uh, taken an enormous amount of rubber off an enormous amount of tires through the years, is at it again, Alice. And uh, it's interesting to hear the process being brought to fruition that we see in front of us. No, it certainly is. And it's a very impressive looking car. And I'm certainly intrigued by the drift spec as well, as we can see the continued celebrations there so you must be very this might be a very very proud moment for you to see all the hard work that you and your team have put in to see these wonderful cars out on display now it's an enormously proud moment for all of our teams spread across all around the world and to have our cars here and, and really what we see as the heart of car culture it is a huge uh, milestone for us and here on the screen we have the Ionic 5N, the drift spec car. And in the middle you will see the silver car, which is called the N-Vision 74. That is a very interesting car because it is a full, it is a hydrogen fuel cell powered car. 670 horsepower. Wow, wow. It's very, very impressive, very experimental. We only have one such functional powertrain and that is in this car right in front of you <laughs> and one one and it's right there it no wonder it's right being there. driven nice and gently sandwiched in between your other wonderful yeah. cars it's there. not it's not attacking the circuit like alice would be if we if we'd let her drive it <laughs> uh, uh, and when is this car available for, for 
your customers, not the hydrogen powered one, your iconic 5N available for, for customers to, to purchase or even possibly test drive? So the Ionic 5N will arrive in Korea first in September and then following that will be our European launch and then next year we're e expanding our reach to multiple markets. Fantastic. Sign me up. I mean, I, I, I think Alice would enjoy it. I think I would enjoy it. Uh, why not? It's a good way of getting some publicity. Well, it's been wonderful to see the car out there. It's obviously an amazing day for you and your team to, to take a, an established car, to take something that I think everyone knows from the styling, a real head turner. You, you mentioned the, the, the modern styling that you get with electric vehicles, but to add performance as well and try and try and link it to the past, and ultimately, I think you said it when you said to try and make your heart beat faster is the epicenter of any great car. And uh, yeah, we see them now uh, heading to the line. Another launch, another moment and a great contrast in the last hour between the heritage of another brand and a brand new version writ large in your picture. A high performance car. And there's one thing you're going to do here at Goodwood on the hill climb when it's a high performance car and that's light it up Alice. That is the best way no? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> great job as usual by Terry Grant really giving a good demonstration of this incredible car when you can see it of course through through the dust that that Terry is creating. And I think it is just another fantastic part of Goodwood. This is being the first people that can really get up close and see these cars actually going out on track, the launch cars. And there we go, the drift spec, doing what it does best, drifting. And that is just incredible shots there, Alex. Jack, and any, any final thoughts you'd like to leave us with? Anything you'd like to reiterate, uh, having, having just seen that car launched and, and, and now out on the circuit for the first time? So as our CEO, uh, Jay Chang, said during our uh, world premiere launch, uh, this is only the starting line. So we're going far, far more than what we show today. So stay tuned. Lovely stuff. Uh, thank you so much for waiting. A little bit of behind the scenes because of the delay. You've been very, very patient with us and we really appreciate your company. Congratulations on what you've achieved today. Thank you. Excellent stuff. Let's recap the last few moments then. And what a moment it has been with Hyundai exciting us all with a display of their brand new Ionic 5N model in front of the house and also with some superb, superb, uh, yeah, superb donuts and fireworks and excitement and color and everything you want on the opening day of the 30th Festive of Speed. So my thanks to Jack and you for all of his expertise uh, guiding us through the launch of this distinctive car, the different versions and the different technology as well. Uh, we, in a few moments' time, will have a change up in the comm box and another batch of excitement for you as we make our way through the program. And uh, we will leave you with these images. And in a few moments' time, it's time to change gear and time for something completely different. Well, I'm here with...